welcome back. We got a 2003 RAV4 here today with the check engine light. Let's see what's going on with this thing. P1130 air fuel sensor circuit. The P1130 code refers to the air fuel sensor or the oxygen sensor, whatever you want to call it, but it is for the bank one sensor one. Bank one is the number one cylinder and uh, you would think that this is the number one cylinder, that that would be the sensor you're changing. It is not. This is the exhaust pipe for number one. It actually comes across if you look through underneath the shield and connects down there. So the one and the four are connected together. This is a sensor you need to change for bank one, sensor one. If you had a bank two, sensor one code, it would be this code. So this is a sensor we are gonna be switching out. We have a new Denso sensor. There's the part number right here. Before we take the sensor out, there's a little zip tie holding these two wires together. We're gonna to cut that, and we're gonna unplug the end where it goes over here. We've got the tie cut off. There's a little tab over here you gotta push on. I already got this one loose. Could be very stiff to get out, but pushing the tab, pull out the plug. You need an oxygen sensor socket to do this properly. It's got a little slice in it to uh, clear your wire. You could snip the wire off and use a regular socket, but you won't be able to get it back in without this type of socket. Break it free with a big wrench. Wasn't too bad. This is why you need the wire disconnected first. All right, got the old one out. New one has a little cover on it here. Sometimes they give you some anti-seize compound. It doesn't look like there's, there's some on here. Maybe there is. I put a little dab of anti-seize compound on it and we'll thread it in uh, finger tight. We got our socket on there and a ratchet fit to it and now we're going to tighten it up. Don't know what the torque spec is, just make it pretty snug. We got it tight. It's got to plug in the other end. Okay, we'll put a zip tie on over here and we'll be done. Now, if this video helped you, I'm not asking for much. Thumbs up and a subscribe. And thank you for watching. Loafing around? Come on, we got work to do. You ready? Let's go.